So I just wanted to do a quick video on DAW setup. There's a couple that I've done before, but this might be a little simpler and clearer. I'm running the user interface on this side of the screen of the UI24. On this side, I'm running Reaper. It doesn't matter if it's a PC or a Mac, it'll be exactly the same. I go to Options, Preferences. I've selected, uh, well, on a Mac, you won't select ASIO. It'll be Core Audio and the Soundcraft USB Audio Interface. 1 to 32 for input, 1 to 32 for output. Now, remember that on the UI24, channel 1, 2, coming into the DAW for recording, okay, that's your left and right. So your left and right output from here, and as I reduce it, obviously it'll go lower, uh, 1 and 2. If I wanted to record from mic 1, that is going into mono 11. So one and two are left and right, and then you've got auxes one to eight, which brings you to 10, and then 11 to 20 uh, to 22 are from channel one to 22, sorry, 11 to 32 are channel one to 22, as far as the inputs. It doesn't matter where the fader is. It doesn't matter what processing there is. It's recording directly after the gain uh, the analog gain, the analog preamp gain. Now, the reason there's two inputs here because I've assigned in one there. You do not need to do any patching whatsoever to record these inputs, okay? None whatsoever. Now, if I wanted to play back this, okay? So I would go into my routing down here and I would route an output, okay? So I would add a new hardware output. So let's say I want to route number eight and nine now here. And if I wanted to patch input 8, for example, to channel 8 or input 5 to channel 5, then that's where you need to do the patching. The patching is only for inputs. And how that's done is if I select number 5 and I click on edit, I can go to my patching screen here and select USB door. All right. Number 8. OK. Now, if I that's if I patch it to number 8. So USB door input slot 8 is going to channel five. If you have a look here, we patch it to output eight and nine. And what we want to do is have the ability to cure that at the same time, uh, which means that we need to press this button here. Okay, and that is the real time monitoring. So as you can see now, I've got output coming here. And this is actually how you also can achieve some effects as well. Um, if I wanted to now apply an effect on the channel, on my channel, and bring it back into channel 5, I'll turn this off, this input one here off, so it's not confusing for you. I'll go patching, and I'll just put it back into 2, so it's 1 to 1. So this is my input. I'm running directly out of here, 11, and I'm coming back out 8 and 9. So I'm just using one channel here, obviously. If I put this up, suddenly you'll hear the sound a little bit weird. But the latency is actually, you know, really good. It's it's not that much different. You can hear a little bit of phasing, but not much. So if you wanted to add an insert of a reverb, I would, can go into my effects. Okay, that's scanning effects. Nice. And uh, let's say we can put some uh, real verb. I don't know what these are like, but it really doesn't matter from that point of view as far as that's concerned. Now, I wouldn't want any dry, I just want wet. Okay, I just want wet altogether with pan, pre reverb. Let's see what I'm getting here as far as that's concerned. Okay, so no preset. Let's grab a preset. Sweet, sweet reverb. Okay. okay, now I've inserted this reverb here and I do not want any dry on it, I just want wet. So I'm inserting a plugin on the channel this way, but I'm bringing it back to another channel. If I wanted to bring this as an insert, okay, if you wanted to bring this as an insert, all I would have to do is select the output of the channel as the input. Now remember, this part, the preamp part, is the only part that is going directly to the USB output. The actual level here and the processing doesn't. So the insert will take that input 
and we'll actually add the processing that we have here and bring it back. Okay, so if I go to channel one now and I select USB door eight. eight. going to just put the dry on and add a little reverb. Now it's inserted on that channel. I have an insert set up by running the preamp direct into the door and then back from the door into the channel. If I look at my preamp, I will not see a fader because actually the input is coming from door if you scroll across you will then see the fair in this section so the fader now appraise in this section here oh hope that made a little bit more sense to you as far as that's concerned um, and that you will be able to now experiment and play around with it a little bit more. Enjoy!